Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jays 50th, The Evolution of the Joker. You're in the Wayback Machine, the dial's been set, and we're going to take a deep dive into the archives and find out how all this Joker business happened. One, two, three, five! From 67 to 73 was just non-stop touring. Coming into a new town, you could be in New York or Seattle or any place. A hard life. We were just young and stupid and excited to be working, but it was crazy. Let's get into the nitty gritty of how these songs were written. I had a four track tape recorder that I was able to multi track on, and I was writing songs all the time in the hotel room. There were so many lyrics, harmonies, and melodies running through my head. I could hardly keep them all straight. This song was an unreleased fusion experiment called Hat. And this finally grew into the song Shibata Do Mama Mama. I was working on a tune called Lie Die, which we recorded but didn't release. It doesn't really matter, it's all just the same. Just as long as the ground keeps moving under me, this guitar will surely be free. Lie, 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 Which grew into the song Traveling. This tune helped me find the chords for the chorus for the Joker. All my ideas for an album were coming into focus, but I was still searching for that hit single. It was now or never. The Joker album took 17 days to record, mix, and master, and we were starting a 90-city tour the next day. Some call me the gangster of love. When I got back, it was number one all over the world. Some people call me Maurice. <laughs> Here we are 50 years later, and I still love doing it. <laughs> I'm a picker, I'm a I'm a lover, and I'm a sinner. I play my music in the sun. I'm a joker, I'm a smoker, I'm a midnight toker. I get my love and I'm 